Lay Lily back with another video and today's video is going to be a review of the Netflix original movie called The Burning Sands. Um, as you know I do belong to a sorority and I had also put out a video called the um, sorority tag and I've been just getting a couple of questions about sorority life since then and then someone asked me you know what was my take upon, upon the movie called The Burning Stands. So first things first let's give you um, a little background about the movie. If you have not seen the movie and you want to see the movie and don't want to know what it's about um, um, log off now. Okay, if you didn't log off, I gave you plenty of chances to do so because this um, review is going to be a lot of spoilers involved. So, like I said, if you don't want, if you want to watch the movie, then watch this, then click off. But here we go. So, the movie The Burning Sands was written and directed by Gerard McMurray, who is a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I think, I believe he came through the Alpha Chapter, which was founded at Howard University. Burning Sands follows um, the Hell Week of five pledges pursuing membership into Lambda, Lambda Phi Fraternity, which is a made up for. Um, fraternity uh, when you go to shoot movies and um, shows and films you have to have permission to say um, to use Alpha Kappa Alpha and then you have to have the actual members of Alpha Kappa Alpha or Kappa Alpha Psi you just can't you know use the name you can't just have people represent unless they are true members of the organization so in this case and with a lot of shows case they do made up um, fraternity and sorority names so Lambda Phi Lambda Lambda Phi fraternity the lead character which is Zurich which is played by actor I want to say Trevor Jackson um, is contemplating between honoring the Code of Silence or standing up against the violence of underground pledging. Surik, who's the main character, is trying to balance school, his girlfriend, and the demands of pledging. Um, so he's trying, he's in his final week of the process. They've been online for four weeks. Um, he has a girlfriend who wants to see him, and she has a birthday coming up, and he better be on point. And there's the demands of school, and Apparently, he wrote this paper. He didn't do so well. He got a D on it. And his professor, which is played by Alfred Wooder, has required that he redo the paper over to get a better grade. She is aware that he is a better student than that, and she does recognize that something's wrong. Um, sometimes when people are pledging, depending on the situation, um, they're always on the go. So it's, it's definitely a struggle to maintain your grades. Um, and I'm just, the movie is filmed on the undergraduate perspective. And as you know, my membership into my sorority was through the graduate uh, perspective. So um, when you're pledging, um, you're on the go, you're on call, you're constantly moving. And sometimes you don't have the... Um, the spare time to really give it your mm and your all in school. Um, I had a lot of friends and associates who pledged undergrad, and they all a lot of them said their grades did go down uh, while they was pledging just because they just didn't have that extra time to give to the studying or they was rushing or they might not turn in assignments um, unless your process had built-in study hours, which some um, processes. Some people, organizations, they process do require that they do a, a, a amount of study hours each week or each day during their process. So it really depends on the situation. But in this situation, Zurich got a D. I think the professor is aware that he's pledging and he's falling off track and she's you know, letting him know that pretty much she's there to help him. So Zerg is not on this line by himself. He has other line brothers. Uh, one is Square. Um, Square is like the nerdy guy. Um, he's privileged. He's part of the one that had the actual car. Um, Square's purpose for getting into the fraternity was not for what he can get 
past graduation, not, not what he can get with the weeks of the benefits, with the connections, all that past graduation. He wanted to reap the benefits of being a Greek now because for some people, once they become Greek, they can be in lame, lame stuff or no Bible. All of a sudden, they get three letters across their chest. Now they the man or they the woman. So for Square, it was more of Square was the nerdy kid. He was trying to get girls popularity, attention, and that's what he feel. That was the reason why he wanted to join the, um, the fraternity because he was always considered an outcast um, with being a nerd. Then you had another guy, I think that was Frank. Frank was the Christian. He was the Christian um, of the group. He um, don't drink. He don't engage in sex. Um, I can't remember what it really, his, I really didn't share everybody's individual perspectives of why they wanted to join. Uh, I wish I would have learned, I wish they could have dealt more like that, but he was more of a straight race, fly right, follow the rules type of guy. And then I believe there was Ron. Ron was a legacy. Um, his father, as well as his grandfather were member, are, are members of this Lambda Lemon Phi uh, fraternity. And you know, when you think about that, he's considered a legacy. A legacy is which your parent, um, what you consider a parent, guard, legal guardian, or um, adopted parent is a member of the fraternity or the sorority, and they consider you le a legacy. So depending on the organization, some people look at legacies as like, people think legacies are sure in, um, when you look at the paperwork process, they might get a buy to get in quicker. I mean, with the paperwork, they might skip a step paperwork wise or be a sure in or they, you don't really supposed to vote on a legacy. That's the thing for, I know for us, for our organization, um, if the legacy meets the qualifications to get into the organization, um, you do not vote on them to um, vote for the vote for them in to get membership. It's almost like a shoe in. They still have to go through a process though, but it's almost like you kind of bypass the voting part because it's a legacy. And if they meet the qualifications, you supposed to. Um, sometimes when you look at the undergraduate experience with legacies. Um, they tend to be harder on a person legacy just because they feel like that person often walks in thinking they're a shoe in or they know everything is needs to know because their dad or their brother or their uncle, their sister, brother, aunt was in the sorority. So sometimes they often catch hell a little worse um, than the other people just because they think, oh, you think you a shoe in. You just ain't going to walk into my organization. You're going to have to put in work and we might going to make you work even harder. Um, one thing I did notice about this group, um, this line was kind of detached. Um, usually when you're online with people, you, you know them like, 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 like the air you breathe. You usually know their name, their mama name, their day name, their birthday, their, their favorite color, uh, uh, color. Sometimes you are more closer to the people on your line versus your family at times. It's just that the sacrifices and the things you're going through together makes you more tougher. And it was a moment in the movie where um, Zurich, who's the main character, was talking to Square. And he said, you don't even know my real name. He said, your name is Square. He said, no, my name is not Square. And that's off because usually you know their first, middle, and last name, and childhood nicknames, birthdays, and all that stuff. So the line was really detached, which was not good, especially being in that final week. You don't suppose, you pose a bit. At that point, they should have been tighter than ever. I mean, they breathe and speak in the same air. Um, breathe, uh, uh, speaking, breathing the same air, having the same heartbeats at that point because they have been so cohesive these past few weeks. So that's something I did notice that their, their connection with the line was off. So some of the things they went through, hopefully... Um, some of the things they went through through their hell week, um, 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 getting wood and wood is considered that that means paddling. So they had segments where they showed them getting paddled. Um, also you normally would have a Dean of pledges. Um, that's the person that oversees the line, making sure they're on track, trying to, you know, make sure they're learning stuff and also to keep the fraternity brothers and sisters off your ass to a certain extent. 
So in the segment, they was getting paddled for maybe misinterpret information. And then there's always one, I always say there's one jackass out of the organization that just want to take things too far. So he was paddling him. He was getting it in. And then all of a sudden, he was trying to shoot for, you know, breaking it across his head. But the dean stopped. And that's what a dean really supposed to do in that situation is, you know, because they were saying the rule was no bruises from the neck, you know, no bruises from the neck up. You can bruise from the neck down in which you, if you watched the movie, you saw that Zurich had like some, some bruise ribs, which really needed to get some attention, but he didn't. But some of the things they endured during this hell week while well, I'm getting wood, um, early morning and late night trips to the woods in which they were asked to spit history and they were exercises and being taunted and all that good stuff. And then, um, you know, getting yelled at and then, um, drinking gallons of water, buying food and liquor. That's another thing. You know, sometimes you be on call, you got to feed the brothers. There was one segment in which they had to deliver breakfast to all the brothers. They was living in different dorms, apartments, and they was, you know, had to bring the specific food. And so they was required to have um, foods. Um, they was having sex uh, sex with the local hoe, in which Zurich did. She did offer Zurich the opportunity just to chill. And he took her on that. So they was acting like they was doing it, but they didn't do it. Um, eating dog food. And um, they had, they was they blindfolded them and had them fall into a swimming pool. And, um... They endure all these different stuff during the week that led up until the night of the hell week. And Zerg is just contemplate, is this even worth it? Do I have the strength to continue on? Am I going to even see it to cross the burning sands and make it into the organization? So, you know, he's trying with his girlfriend. She had a birthday coming up, um, but he had to do session, in which that's when you get together with the... The pledges get together with the members of the fraternity. They might have to recite member like stuff and whatever, whatever they want them to do during that session. So I thought it was kind of cool that he did, you know, manage to, you know, slip her some birthday gifts and stuff before he went to do his things. So it's just like saying, you know, I'm going through this, but you know, I'm still thinking about you. And I would think to date somebody online you know you really have to be patient with them because you're not going to see them a lot and then a the little time you get trust me it's going to be limited and the goal is to you know not get caught not and also not to get them in trouble because you know you really don't want them to endure any more that you know you want them to do so they go through all this stuff during the week they they at a party they can't kick it because they're the pledges they stuff in this little tiny room and it actually leads up to the actual hell night. Now, before then, Zerg is still contemplate. He even go talk to the dean of the university who happens to be a member. And the dean is trying to, you know, encourage him to um, stick it out, stick it through. Don't embarrass me. I wrote a recommendation. You come highly recommend for me. And I need you to see this through. So he kind of talked him into it. Um, I mentioned that Zerg did have the paper um, he did, um, manage to repeat the, uh, redo the paper. We don't know what the grade was cause he just shoved it under the, um, uh, shove it, gave it to the professor and stick and move on to the next thing. So it leads up to the actual hell night in which it is, um, that's, they put the hoodie on a hell night. They put the hoodie who, and all the brothers came out young, old, on campus, off campus. That was cause we gonna, you know, get these boys tonight cause if they're going to get done into this organization, it's the hell night. So, you know, they had them start out doing some service stuff. And I said, okay, they had them in the pool. They was cutting their hair off, making them eat dog food. And then the beating started. So they each individual, they had each individual pledgy off doing some things. And it just ended abruptly. Because one of the brothers, the one who was the legacy, they was the hardest on him. He passed out, started foaming at the mouth, and apparently it ends abruptly with that particular um, pledgy dying. 
So at the end, you heard that say we got to, we're going to contact the parents, we got to contact the university, and we're going to contact the police. So you see Zurich and the pledges, they done did all this. They done been on this line for all these four weeks. And it probably left, it ended, just ended. So we don't know if they made it. We don't know if they got in trouble. Or somebody asked about to get in trouble, but it just ended abruptly. Um, my thoughts, that was just a short synopsis of what went down with the movie. Here's my thoughts. It was raw, it was uncut, and it was real. And, you know, a lot of Greeks are saying, oh, it was exaggerated, this or they just they was doing the most it ain't went down like that let me tell you for this to be filmed this was somebody reality um and that, that's just the truth we all have heard of hazing stories we have heart heard of people dying um from hazing rituals and pledging rituals so you know people saying oh that's just far-fetched but that's somebody reality. What I did not like about the movie, they only focused on that aspect. Now, there is some, some truths, but everybody's process is different. Like I said, I did grad chapter, totally different experience because I was dealing with grown-ass women who had children, husbands, careers, lives, and they had stuff to lose. So my process... Probably wasn't nowhere near that extreme, but I did have a process. I just didn't walk in and say, hey, you remember. I went through a little process. So um, it's unfortunately something, it's somebody's truth. And what has happened was um, back in the day with this, I would say, you know, you know, pleasure was known in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. And what happened is the National Panhellenic Council, which is the group that oversees all nine African-American fraternities and sororities, they came up with a bill to um, a policy to abolish this, um, the pledging process. And then from there, it went underground. So it went out the sight of the university. It went out the sight of maybe the advisors or the regional directors or the area coordinators. And it went underground. It's a, you know, we have what they call a membership intake process. That is the official process that is recognized between the Divine Nine Council across the board. In which that's just, you know, there's weeks where you're just learning um, history. They might have a service project involved. And that's what is the recognized process for the council. But with these undergrads, there are still people out here doing stuff. Now, has it taken a halt? It might have died down, but we, you know, that's hard to say because we don't know what people are doing in, in basements and backyards and, and attics across America. Um, you just know that there's a set process that you have to do but we don't know what these people are doing and then there's even a question about people doing doing what you call um post pledging in which they went through the traditional membership intake process but then now they want to go get on the line and they're thinking you know they're already members privileges and everything but they'll go and they'll get on the line afterwards i have heard people talk about that experience as well what the movie didn't show was the positive side of the um, sorority and fraternity um, life, the service, the leadership, the mentoring, um, the contributions to scholarship. They did not um, show that. Um, so you really, if one had no knowledge of fraternities and sororities, did no research and watched this picture, they would say, hell no, I'm not doing that. That's just... An unfortunate aspect you know everybody's process is different some people nowhere near that extreme but had a process so that's the thing it didn't shed light on the community service it didn't shed light on the brotherhood and then I think the only I mean the positive thing that I did see that come out is when the pledges were calling the alumni members and they were showing that they were CEOs and doctors and professionals and family men and just, you know, guys that's doing great things in the community. That was a part I thought was really um, um, positive and they was motivating them, like, just hang on in there. You can do it. 
you know, it's almost over. So that was one of the positive um, parts of the movie. Um, but they did, the, the movie did make, make these pe people like they was the damn devils, just villains. And, um, yeah, so there is mixed reviews. Um, I thought it was, it was good. It was touching. I was, I was just like this, you know, but yeah, I mean, I tell people this, if you want to go Greek, you need to look at the whole picture. Um, and I think I'm going to do a video on, um, proper steps to pursuing, um, Greek membership because a lot of people have been emailing me and asking me, especially from the graduate. I can't speak from the undergraduate experience, um, because I made attempts. I never got to the part to do a process in the undergraduate, um, level. So I only speaking from the graduate process in which I know, but I do, you know, I have been asked a lot of questions and I think I want to do a video on what is the proper protocol? How do you pursue membership and what is the do's and the don'ts? So maybe I will do that video. Um, but overall, I thought it was kind of good. I think the movie did leave quite a bit of cliffhangers. Um, you know, did they become members? Did they get in trouble? Did the chapter get suspended? Um, did Zurich, did he keep his girlfriend? Because even in the uh, movie, the girl, they, they got out that the local hole they, um, slept with the pledges of this land. And the, his girl, Zurich's girlfriend knew he was on this land. And he said, I didn't sleep with her. But it's just like, you've got to keep that on the wrap because your, your pledge, your pledge, your, the pledges, the pledges, the, play, the, the big brothers that's pleasuring you thought you was up there doing the do. So it's just like he got to, yeah, he was a little torn. So I just wish it would have showed a lot more of the service stuff as well. Um, but it's kind of mixed reviews. Some people saying, hey, it is what it is. He ain't lie. Some people had experienced that. Some people on the other fence saying that's far fledged. Why would he do that? Yada, yada, yada. He blew the whistle. He did this and da, 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 da. So, um, that's pretty much, um, it for me. Um, my advice, if you're looking to join any organization, do the research. Read everything that you could get your hands on that's publicly published. Um, see how people function in turn. What's the personalities of the members? Um, look and see what they're doing. Are they doing great things in the community? Um, what's the GPAs like if it's an undergrad chapter? What is the chapter average GPA? Are they award winning? Um, even in graduate, uh, the graduate level, are they award winning chapter? Are they, you know, being known for greatness? So that's just my review of Burning Sands. Do I encourage you? I say watch it for yourself. These are my opinions. This is my views. This is my outlook from it and what I have known and observed and witnessed um, in terms of Greek life. Um, you entitled to your views. I entitled to mine. That's it. That's all. Stay tuned for more videos. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for stopping by. Until, until next time. Have a good night.